Falcon slogan is rise up, but next year its ticket prices will be rising up too. The Atlanta Business Chronicle reports this is going to be the team's first price change since the Falcons moved into the new stadium in 2017. Jennifer Bellamy breaking down who might see the prices jump, jump, jump. Yeah, Jeff, this one's a little bit tricky to explain because some season ticket holders will see jumps in their prices, while some others could see drops. It all depends on where you sit inside the stadium. Plus, there's that international game set for next season, so your season ticket package includes one less home game. Falcon fans had a lot to cheer about last Sunday with a stunning upset against the 49ers on the West Coast. But back at home, those already gearing up for next season could be shelling out more. The average ticket price per game is set to creep up 1.2 percent for the 2020 season, but the team says two-thirds of tickets will be priced the same or less. If you're a season ticket holder, you got an email from the team last week outlining payment deadlines and other information about your seat. In the 300 level, the prices for some seats won't change while others are going up slightly and some are dropping by as much as 15 percent. Seats in the 200s could rise by up to 4 percent, but other seats in that same level could see decreases by as much as 6 percent. Most of the increases are coming from the lower bowl. That seats in the 100 level sections where prices are expected to jump by as much as 4 percent. But it might not feel like you're paying more. That's because the Falcons will play an international game next year, so there are nine home games instead of 10. For example, a season ticket holder who paid $3,450 for club seats this season would have expected to pay $3,590 in 2020. But because there's one less home game, the total price is actually dropping 11 percent. The Falcons say the changes are a matter of standard business and not reflective of the team's performance on the field. But with two games left in the season, the Falcons have won five and lost nine, and that record is likely impacting the team's bottom line. The Falcons saw a 2% drop in season ticket holders this season compared to last when they'd sold the most season tickets in franchise history. Most of this year's unsold season tickets come from the upper level section, so the Falcons are targeting those areas in hopes of getting back to near capacity in 2020. The Atlanta Business Chronicle reports the team will enhance benefits for season ticket holders in the 2020 season after missing the playoffs for a second straight year. The Falcons will play their final home game of the season Sunday, taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. All right, J-Bell, they have that beautiful stadium. They want to make sure it's full.